Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your monthly message for September 2020 and beyond, whenever you choose to watch. These readings are indeed timeless. At least I set my intention that they would be, that they would find you whenever you come across it and feel that nudge to watch. So let's go ahead and get started for you. Let's see what the theme of this monthly message is for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2020 and beyond. Let's see, what is the theme of this monthly message for you, Virgo? One card for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Wow, that feels like it was another one stuck, but it's not. Um, let's see. All right, so it says the moon, you will be guided through darkness. Okay, so what that's telling me is that even though things might seem a little uncertain at the moment, okay, there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. You are guided through the process of whatever uncertainty you may be experiencing at the moment. Whatever is feeling like elusive or veiled at the moment, that's, it's not going to be that way forever. This also could be Piscean energy somewhere in your chart or someone you're dealing with as well. But if you feel like you don't have the answers right now, that's okay. Moon energy is also associated with water. So if you could just be in flow for now, um, this is going, this, I'm hearing this too shall pass. Okay. So let's see if we can get three cards to accompany this moon energy here that we have. Okay. There's one. Oh, look at that. Now, this is pretty synchronistic. You have Anubis here with the Wheel of Fortune, and you also have him here. Okay, so again, God of the Underworld. It's kind of like you're coming out from under. That's what I'm hearing with this. Okay, so let's see if we can get two more cards. This is this is why I do love shuffling on camera so you can see all this. I even do this with my pick of cards um, because I just like seeing the synchronicity unfold for you guys. All right, so let's see. Two more cards for Virgo. So we know you're going through a shift. We know you're going through a change. And that's kind of what I was picking up. At the moment, you're not really seeing things as far as where they will lead you, where they are going, all right, where things seem kind of elusive or uncertain. That's part of the Wheel of Fortune's energy, to be honest. Uh, look at that. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. All right, so you're on the road to progress. I love this. This is really neat, okay? Because what this is saying is, after you experience these changes, perhaps changes that are kind of fe leaving you feeling up in the air, you're entering a new phase and a new chapter here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is saying that there is, I don't know, I'm getting the Bible like metamorphosis that you're undergoing at the moment. You're, you're going through a growth spurt or process that just has to um, run its course. It has to run its course. Um, another real cool synchronicity is you have you have roots here, right? And then you have them so significantly here as well. So there's a theme here. 
in regards to a growth process. Okay. You can't have light without dark. You can't have dark without light. So it could be that some of you are actually getting out of a shadow period and coming and emerging into the light. Again, the Wheel of Fortune is an energy where it has to run its course. You have to kind of let it do its thing. You have to be in flow. Uh, it's sometimes called the, called the Wheel of Change for a reason because these are changes that happen and you just have to let them. You just have to let the universe turn the wheel for you because a lot of times it's trying to lead you into a better direction. And when that happens, these shifts and changes happen and suddenly and unexpectedly. We don't really know where with the moon, like, right? We don't know where it's taking us. But if we can just flow with it and be in, be in surrender mode to it, it's usually going to lead us to something better. A lot of times the wheel of fortune is an energy where something falls off the wheel, right? In order to make room or space for something else to hop on. So it feels like... You're shedding some old skin. We do have a snake there on the wheel. You're shedding some old skin, maybe some old facets of yourself, maybe aspects of your life that just aren't working anymore. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I would say let the universe take the wheel for now. Because at the end of the day, with this card, it's saying, look, you're going to be guided through the darkness. You're going to be guided out from under. You're headed into better things. We have this Ace of Pentacles that's trying to open up to you it's an opportunity sometimes sometimes it's even an offer it's something brand new could be a new house could be an engagement uh, there's a lot of different things that I can see in the ace of pentacles but it's the foundation it's the beginning of a brand new foundation for you you're setting down roots you're in the process of growth so with the seven of pentacles it's saying look you're making progress and sevens as a number do talk about it's a very spiritual number but it also talks about personal growth so this is part of your evolution. This is part of your journey. And if you've overcome or just gotten out of a situation that maybe wasn't helping you, if it's something ended in your life that just, you know, wasn't fitting the mold or fitting where you're going, that's why. Um, it ended because it, it doesn't really feel like it has a place to, to where you're trying to, to get to. Could be a person, could be a job, could be a mindset that wasn't working for you. But I feel like that energy's falling off and that's the end of a chapter. And now here the Ace of Pentacles is that brand new door that's opening up to you. Think of it as like the universe trying to hand you that blessing, hand you that, that fresh start. And you have the choice here to embrace the fresh start, even though it may be slightly unfamiliar and things might seem a little bit eh, maybe hazy or confusing at the moment. Um, but you have the opportunity to kind of embrace that fresh start and allow it to unfold according to your destiny. With that Ace of Pentacles, this is the initial investment into something new. So you could end up being offered an opportunity, blessed with something that maybe you weren't expecting with the Wheel of Fortune, especially next to the Ace of Pentacles. Money could be coming in, in a way that would help you get on your feet and set down roots in, in a way that's going to establish you because, again, it's tangible energy. It's earth, and that's your Virgo, right? So whatever blessing the universe is trying to bring in with the Wheel of Fortune after something has kind of fallen off out of your life, it's going to be something tangible, something that you can touch, Maybe something you can hold, something you can see with your own two eyes. It's, it's going to be tangible. It's not just figurative. You know, it could be a literal blessing, but it's one that will help you grow. One that's going to strengthen your roots, strengthen your foundation towards better things. Because the seven, you got to consider, you know, all the, all the um, tarot cards are really trying to do is, is gain progression. And you're on your way there. You're on your way to making some serious progress here after a major shift or change. But what this wheel is doing is really just trying to set you on the path for stability. So I'm curious to see like what this may be about. Um, let's see if we can get three little... Oh, okay, there's one. Let's see if we get two more. So you're coming out of a difficult period maybe something that was kind of uncertain to you and and now you're headed into like 
I'm feeling like this the light at the end of the tunnel is kind of showing itself now where you're not going to be questioning your path so much anymore moving forward is kind of what I'm getting from this because the earth energy is based in reality it shows you what it is what it isn't there's really not a lot of debate in that so there's no more no more confusion after the moon energy and the wheel has kind of set your course right so let's see we have journey yeah see look you're moving into something else you're leaving something in the dust you're leaving it behind you're moving on you're moving forward you're focused you're determined you're headed somewhere else maybe you could be traveling literally to a new place maybe a new home with the ace of pentacles maybe traveling for work or traveling to a new job because all of this earth energy here look at that here goes the gift here goes the ace of pentacles revealing itself in a gift so again you're going where the blessing is you're going where the gift is it's like the universe handing you a gift and i did say that here handing you a blessing handing you a gift out of nowhere it may come unexpectedly and then when it does you got to take action you can't just sit on your butt you got to move and you got to go claim the gift claim the blessing because whatever it is you're moving toward over here you're moving towards something with the journey card right whatever you're moving toward over here with, with the gift is something that's going to be reciprocal right wow brand new energy with the baby so it could be a little baby uh some of you could be birthing a new project if it's not a child or pregnancy right but you could be birthing a manifestation you could be birthing a brand new chapter so again two energies that are brand new here for you you're moving in the direction of your gift of your blessing uh this is brand new for you you're getting a fresh start after maybe leaving something behind or something kind of leaving your life uh either way you're setting down roots in a way that are going to establish you for the long term and you're making such progress fast progress because you go from an ace to a seven in a heartbeat so you're on the move with the journey card and there's really no stopping the direction that you're going in at this point um it feels like destiny is aligning to favor you in a sense that you're gonna have a lot coming in uh i'm just getting the vibe of maybe money opportunity i don't know why i'm hearing collaborations um it, it's kind of like this feeling of aligning with the right people to put you on the right path to achieve what it is you're after if you're it's a personal goal of some sort if you're working towards a goal then there's going to be people that kind of arrive into your life or present themselves right when you need them to help you maybe launch something off the ground with that baby energy because the baby talks about a new project or something that you're giving a lot of your attention and devotion to could be a literal person could be a child yes um, but at the same time it's it's usually something brand new something that you have your heart put on and you want to work toward it with that seven of pentacles especially seven of pentacles can oftentimes mean you know you've come to a place where you're reevaluating your life your situation and you're like okay what do i need to do right what do i need to do to get this thing started to get it really popping to end up getting it to a point where it's thriving and growing and yeah the seven of pentacles you get to a moment where you're like okay maybe there's this thing that's not working that thing that's not working okay let me make the necessary adjustments that i need to make in order to make this really kick off so yeah once the opportunity presents itself you're gonna have a moment where you stand there and you're like standing outside your box you're looking from the outside in and you're like okay i see the i see the bigger picture now let me do what i need to do to make this happen to make it work to make it thrive because eventually it has the potential if i keep working if i keep putting my love and energy into something if i keep being devoted to my purpose i can end up creating the ultimate stability that i'm looking for right but this what this is saying is that when the blessing comes in it's kind of already set it's kind of already set but you're also with the seven of pencils gonna have to put put in some physical work too because you can't escape that right but it's gonna thrive it's gonna grow you're gonna be able to push yourself to excel in whatever endeavor it is that you want to create for yourself with that baby energy so it's like you're going to have what you need because it's going to be given to you with the gift and the ace of pentacles. You're going to have everything you need to make it happen. Whether it be skill, ingenuity, determination, 
you're gonna have what you need you're physically gonna have what you need to make it happen or to launch something off the ground and be technically be provided for so I do love this energy because it's basically saying you're gonna you're gonna have a lot going for you pretty soon and it's also feeling over here with the journey energy. You're going to have to be ready to move. And you're also going to have to be open and ready to receive. Because, again, universe is trying to hand you a gift, a blessing, an opportunity. you got to have your hands open and ready to receive. Spiritually, physically as well. You're going to be working hard towards something. But it's going to be to establish you for the future. It'll be new. It's going to take your devotion, obviously. But it's... I mean, children are legacy. So I'm, I'm getting the vibe of legacy. It's part of your legacy. Okay, Virgo. So whether it's, you know, a new home, a, a new job, a, a personal goal that you've, you're moving toward or moving in the direction of... Let's see if we can get one of these cards here. Okay, so look at all this earth energy. So again, it's the idea. There's your Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy. Um, there's your earth energy again. So it's just confirming the idea that whatever direction the universe is kind of gearing you or, or pushing you into at this time, the changes and the shifts might be a little bit... Eh, you know, you, you might feel a little uh, uneasy, but what it's doing is setting you up for some major stability with the earth energy, solid, stable ground. So what I love about this is that even though things might kind of feel up in the air at the moment, when that door opens and you kind of really see it for what it is and the light is kind of shining at the end of the tunnel, there is going to be no more confusion about where you're going or what you're doing. You will have that, that, um, you will feel that grounded energy again towards where you're going or what's happening in your life. So there is kind of this feeling of with the wheel of fortune kind of being up in the air, but that's not going to last forever. What you're, what you're doing is you're putting, you're on the path to, your goals being achieved or the things that you want to see for yourself long term, you're on the road to that, whatever that may mean to you or be to you. And then you, you'll feel most more secure because earth energy is very grounded and safe and secure within itself. So there will be no questioning anymore with the moon because the moon does make you doubt yourself, your journey, where you're going sometimes. Why? Because you don't see things clearly walking by the light of the moon try it <laughs> you know things are not what they appear to be and the energy is just emphasized as far as being guided through darkness so it kind of feels like you're you're not being led astray through the process of these changes you're definitely not so let's see if we can get a fortune card here to sum this up. And then I'm going to roll for some angel numbers, Virgo. Let's see if we can get a fortune card to finalize this reading for you. Okay. Look at that. Firecracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Yeah. Look at that. Good fortune. Wheel of Fortune brings good fortune. It sets you on the path to receive your fortune. Look at the fortune here with the Ace of Pentacles. Money could be coming in. Tangible assets could be coming in. Stability looks like it's coming in. New things being achieved is coming in, right? So that definitely confirms. Let's see if we can get some numbers here. If you're not familiar with my channel, what I do is I roll the dice for angel numbers. I always recommend you look up the interpretation of the numbers for additional meanings or confirmation of this reading i say look up whatever source you trust the most i don't want to recommend a website because at the end of the day it might not be one you resonate with and then that would be you know what would the point of that be 
Nonetheless, doing the research on the angel numbers and the interpretations themselves might also lead you to other synchronicity and other confirmation or little cookie crumbs from the universe that might confirm other things for you along your search, right? So that's why I say look it up yourself. That's part of the process of the, getting messages is, is doing the research, right? So let's go ahead and see what numbers you get. All right, we have eight. Four, eight, four, twelve. Okay, so eighty-four, twelve is your angel number. With angel numbers, you can, especially if there are more than three numbers, four or five, you can always break those down into a single digit. Okay, master numbers do not get broken down like a twenty-two, a thirty-three, or an eleven. All right, so 8412 is your angel number. I'd be curious to see how that angel number relates for you. So if you feel that this has helped or connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video, share this video if you want to support this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to get notified of videos, please click that little bell because I do upload often. That way you also never miss a video. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is check me out on Etsy, see what readings I have available, and you can book a reading whenever you feel guided to. Okay, so Virgo, this is your reading. I'll leave you here. Take care. Keep shining.